right, we moved on to our next location. We're out here in this uh, open field, kind of over my shoulder there, back in here, is where it used to be an old house and uh, used to be old juke joints, uh, gambling joints, and it goes from about 1895 to about 1930. And uh, so let me spin you around. Let me show you the area that we're going to be hunting. And you can see here, uh, all up in the trees here, there's an old well right through those woods right there. Got to definitely hunt around that well, take out the magnet. We're going to go in it later on. All through here, the bar joints were over in here. And the house was up in there. And you can see these Okataba trees, that possible homes out here, and all through here was stuff. So that's enough talking. Let's get suited up before Nugget gets to swing and getting all the silver. And <laughs> I'm going to get it. Nice so area. let's get the swim. What are you going to get here, Nugget? Definitely more silver. More silver. We got, so you got one silver at the other place. I got two silver, so I'm only one. But uh, this place ought to have something in it. So let's get the swing. Here's the old well. Full of water. Yeah, I bet it goes down deeper. Too. We'll get, a, get the magnet out here in a little while and. You can tell it looks like an old old well, doesn't it? At least almost a hundred years old. Really. Oops. Yeah, that's not how deep that is. That might be the water level, though. I think that's the water level here. It's not very deep. We'll put a magnet in it in a little bit and see. We'll save that for later. There we go. All right, y'all. Preacher has a real good signal right here. Swinging up at twenty nine thirty. Get 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 this uh, shot right there of my. Yeah, that's a good signal. On mine, it's giving 80. Six inches deep. I think it's going to be silver. It sounds good. All right. There it is. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's a standing oh, liberty. liberty. It's a standing <laughs> liberty quarter. Yes. Yes. I was just I talking about that, didn't I? Silver. Gosh. And you said you hadn't found but like one of them last night. Yeah. Wow, look at that, y'all. Got the date on it. Three quarter. Oh, man, what date is it? 27. Oh, unbelievable. 27. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, did I jinx us now? No, no, you didn't. <laughs> find the first quarter, and then we don't find anything else out. I told you it was going to be something good. That was a great signal on my Oh, wow, man. I mean, oh, such a good signal. Get a close-up of that, y'all. That is amazing. <laughs> Check that out. That is unreal. Well, I, dig. I knew it was something good. I, I knew it was. All right, now you got to get one. Now, right. you gotta, now we know there, there's stuff out here. Yep. So let's get a picture and let's keep on going. All right, just dug that uh, Standing Liberty right over there, not very far, and uh, came up here, had a, another jumpy 21 to 26 signal. And yeah, check that out. Just popped it out. That's going to be a Model T Ford hubcap. So definitely we are on the property of 30s, 20s, and that, that date range. So that is good. All right, get pictures. Let's keep on going. All right, Nugget, it's got him a good signal here. Got a really good signal. 88, 89, like probably a silver quarter or something. And it's fairly shallow in that small area. Oh, blowing my ears out. I hope you get something, man. That sounded good on my oh, Equinox man. too. Let me get on this. Look at that dirt. Okay. Oh. Is it in the hole or is it? I hope it's silver. Shallower than I thought, though. Of course, everything's huh? kind of. Four inches. It. It's silver. Is it silver? It's silver. Oh, Where I see it. it. I see it. Oh, no, you, you got me. one too. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> oh, oh, oh we're good. You found yours right over there. Oh, look. Stand in Liberty Quarter. Looks like it's 25. 25 25? Oh, you got me beat. Oh, man, that's a beautiful one. Look at that. Wow. I don't know what to say. <laughs> man. Wow. That is silver quarter, y'all. About two or three inches deep. Crazy. I'll give you all a close up here in a minute. 
So we've only been here what? Like maybe ten minutes. Ten minutes at this old ghost town. Dug site. a two quarters, a weedy, and a Model T Ford hubcap, okay. just in this little spot right here. Unbelievable, man. We may be hitting more. it good today. It's going to be an amazing day. We may awesome. be having a good day. All right. Let's go get some more. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So I just got another signal. It's really good. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but 92. Gosh, man. And it's just in that little. You're area. going to South. You're going back to North Carolina I'm if you dig up. I'm something good. Oh, I mean, that's definitely a good, a good target. Gosh. You can't lift it very high, so it's not large. I'm scared to dig it. Woo. Dude, I'm scared to even film it for you. I don't know what it's going to be, but I think it's going to be, I mean, silver, maybe a half dollar. Oh, man. Come on, half. There's a root. I'm scared to do. All right, I'm just going to flip it back with my hands, and we're going to see what it is. Ready? Okay. So far, I don't see nothing. All right, let's recheck. It's shallow, man. That's too shallow, don't you think? Nah. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! Man. <laughs> it is no. a half. What is it going to be? Oh, a barber. Half. Dude! <laughs> get in the truck and go oh, to North man. Carolina. Unbelievable. <laughs> no, I'm happy for you, man. What year That's is it? 1907. 19. I haven't found a barber half dollar in probably Gosh, man. Nine years. And it's right here by the oh. well. Um, right by the way. Look how well. beautiful it is, though. Like, look at that. All the coins would be coming out good. I mean, it's just like so nice. And look how shallow it was. Three, Maybe two inch inches? Yeah. Yeah, probably about two inches. But, like I said, it was given that 92, which is usually a half dollar signal. And if y'all seen my last video, I got a 92 signal, but it was a brass lock and it got me. But this one, I know. I thought I, when, for. I always think they're like aluminum cans or something, yeah. you know, something they're big. So beautiful, though, that signal. 1907. That's a good year. Man, you got to find something now, Preacher. I might have to go take a break. <laughs> Let's see it again. Uh, Nugget is uh, right back. I don't know if y'all can even see him. He's right there. He is excited. Doug at 1902 or 1907. Uh, Barber half dollar. Gosh. So there's got to be more out here. So let's get swinging. All right. Got a 30. What did it say? 30, 31? Yep, 30, 31. All right. Let's see what we got. It's going to be silver, man. It sound like it. Everything we're getting out here is really good. Oh! oh Bazinga! Stuck. Man. We then got silver happy. <laughs> I know. We got so used to silver, we assume everything's well, that's silver. That's not a token, though. It's just a that's can. Weird, that's a can top. Oh, man. Bazinga. <laughs> it did have a little All right. Let's though. keep going. That's Nugget done really found him signal. another so silver. It's 82. Really shallow. And it's another silver. Look at that one, though. That's a barber. Where's it at? You see it, you see it right there. Right oh, there. okay, yeah. It's a barber dime. Wow, that is crazy. Let's get it out. Oh, man. Hold on. Look at that, y'all. 1914 barber dime. Beautiful. And a, oh, that looks like it has a mint mark. Maybe a O or a D or something there. Wow. Got a dime to go with the half dollar. Now I got to find a barber quarter. That is crazy. Hey, we're definitely going to try to get one before it's over with. Congratulations, Everything's man. Everything's so shallow. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it was literally just... Right <clears> I think this has all been plowed up or something. Yeah. We've been doing uh, plow points out and there. And look, he's right beside the... Uh, right beside the well. Yep. Right beside the well. Awesome. So, let's keep going. Yeah, I just... What do you got? I got a solid 30. Look at this. Oh, I just saw the edge of it. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's Barb. Oh, oh, oh it's just another standing Lamperty Corner. <laughs> Another one! Wow! Oh. This is crazy! Your third one, right? Ever. 26. 26! We got a 25, a 26, and a 27. That is crazy. Check that out, guys. About three inches deep. Oh, that's beautiful. Right up in this home site. I mean, literally, I can't even walk away for two seconds without you finding something. Gosh! Oh. We're right up in this home site. Got a little right a meal with us. Nugget was right there. I'm just right up in this big old tree. Check that out. I mean, there is stuff everywhere out here, y'all. Look at that. Let's lay that down. Look at the back. Let's pop the back. Good shape, too. The dates are still on these. That's unreal. Usually the dates are worn off. A 1926. Congratulations. Wow. We're catching up. We're tied now, aren't we? That's right. We're tied. All right, let's keep swinging. 
just got a 24, believe it or not, on the Equinox, but uh, once I popped it out, Nugget tried it with the AT Pro, this will come up as an 81. 81 yeah. There's our little mascot for the day. That's Barber. Barber? That's Barber. Yeah. Barber Dime? We're going to play the one dime, all right? One dime. Is it going to be seated or is it going to be Barber? I bet it's going to be Barber. Yeah, uh, that's Barber. Barber Dime. 19. No, 1898. 1898. That's old, man. <laughs> we said that dated from 1890, 95 to 1930s. That is crazy. I got my barber. Now I'm not can Nugget can't say you're skunking me. Wow. That's, that's great, man. I dug my dime right through those trees. Working. <laughs> it's a spoon. I thought it was uh, silver, but it's ringing up stainless, though. I thought it was going to be a big silver spoon, but it ended up just ringing up like a 18 uh, on my, or 13, 14 on the Equinox, and it's just going to be a big old stainless spoon. I thought it was silver there for a second. Had that look to it like that. All right, definitely on the old house site. Nuggets in hot pursuit. All right, let's keep going. Okay, there's another good signal here. I think it might be silver. Given an 82, 81. That's promising. Yeah, I mean, it could always be a wheat penny. Let's put this down real quick. Well, yeah. you're right in the target where everything is. I know, in that good area. It's showing about five or six inches, so it's also a good dip. Let's just see if we can pop it back. All right, you see anything? Still in the hole, I think. Let's see what it is. Come on, silver. That was kind of big, don't it? That was huge. Here. Maybe I'll get your pinpointer. There, there it is oh, right there. Oh, man, a bottle salt. cap. <laughs> no, nah, it's a salt shaker, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Being at that depth, it was hard All to right, Bazinga though. number two there. That's right. It got me. <laughs> <laughs> Came over here digging a real choppy 24 signal. Dug out two of these nails like this. And it was covering up my hole, and I kicked over the cow manure, and look what was underneath the cow manure. Another uh, barber dime. 19, 1902, sorry, i got to keep it in frame. 1902 barber dime. Gosh, this is place is unbelievable. We are just killing it out here. So let's put that on the dirt. Let's get some pictures, and let's keep on going. Nuggets on his way up here. I hollered at him. I was getting a 24 signal, 25. It's about, uh, you can see how deep it was, about six, seven inches deep. And check that out. It's going to be a silver necklace locket. Look at that. That's nice. It's got writing on it. It does. What does it say? It says, I don't know. Let me clean this up and I'll come back to you. Silver locket. I think it says spooky on it. It says sterling right down here on the very bottom. I'll get a close up on the picture. Oh, today is an unbelievable day. We are just killing it out here. And so uh, it's good to find spoons and lockets and stuff like that too. So. Let's keep going, see what else is out here. Nugget just dug a dime right there, and we we're right beside this well again. I came back over here just to kind of follow through, just to, like we always do, back up each other. And look at that. I dug another barber quarter. Is that barber? That's yeah. That's barber. 1914. Oh, same year as the dime, man. That's that must have been a spill. Yeah. I bet it was a spill. A barber quarter and a barber dime, both 1914. Right near each other, too. All right, man. You can't beat that, can you? That's crazy. Let's get some pictures and keep on going. Well, y'all, searching around this big tree here. I got a pretty good signal. 90? 90? 90. No, 89, 88. It's probably another quarter, silver quarter. I don't think it's uh, high enough for a half dollar, but it's really good. Right in this area here. Right beside the tree. That is crazy. I should just be able to see it. I don't see anything. Let's see if it's out. Oh, I see it. 
Where's it at? Oh, right, right there. there. Right it's there. It's silver. It's silver. It is silver. Oh, oh it's going to be a standing. Recorded. Or is it Barber? It's a Barber. It's a Barber. Oh, yes. 1809. Oh. <laughs> that is crazy. Yes, man. That is it. Yeah, 1909. Look at that. Oh, we're digging them all in that man. early 1900s, the Barbers. Unbelievable, y'all. Right here. Somebody was sitting down and they lost it, I guess. You always dig by the big trees, don't you? That is unreal. Let's get a picture of that. Let's keep on going. All right, we're still in this little home site here. Uh, Nugget got his quarter right up there by that big tree. We've been working this tree line over here and uh, came through here and right beside my gloves down there, got a real jumpy 21, 24 signal. Sound like a penny. And it wasn't very deep. And check that out. I just popped it up on the side. It was on the edge. Hey, dog. Hang on. Dog's getting my gloves here. Get back, dog. It's going to be a barber dime. Not, hey, this is 1892. Oh, really? Yeah, this is 1800. Yeah, one of the first, when did they start making this? 1892. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, the first year. <laughs> One year from seed. It could be seeded out here. 1892. Look at that. This is an unreal hunt. Unreal. Man. Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe this. All right, let's get some pictures. Let's put that down and let's keep that on going. Amazing. Well, we took a break. Nugget's still swinging over there. We went in that well, and I took my magnet out. It was about, uh, total depth, probably about 30 feet, about eight feet of water. There was just nothing in the bottom of it, so we didn't film it. All right, we're going to take a snack, and we're going to get back out in the field and start looking around. We still got lots of stuff to hunt, so let's keep going. It's been a killer day so far. Nugget got him a signal there. I got a 25, a 21, 25 signal jumping around just underneath this root here. Popped it out. Gonna be a nice little buckle here. Early 1900s. That's what we're digging out here. Early 1900s stuff. All right, let's keep going. We're back out here in this little area where we found the uh, standing liberties, and I got an eight inches deep. I got a uh, 21 to 24 to 29 jumping all around, and we thought it was gonna be a wheat penny, but check that out. That's gonna be general service button. Cuff button. Well, we got some military out here now. I like that. I like these relics. All right, let's keep on uh, going. Let's uh, get a picture. Let's keep on going. All right, we're still out here in this little opening right here. Nuggets in the hot pursuit of a silver. Uh, I got me a nickel signal and uh, about uh, four inches deep. Popped it up, and there we go. You can still see the imprint. There's my buddy. It's going to be a buffalo. Buffalo nickel. Can you see that? Let me get it. Let me turn it over where y'all can. Yeah. Anyway, we see the back of it. Toned out really well. Let me clean it up and see if we can't get a better picture of it. And I'll get back with you. Well, I can't tell, but I had to put some water on it to get the dirt. It was real corroded up on this side, but I didn't get the patina off, so I stopped. I don't want to take that patina off. Maybe a date right there. I'll look at it later on. But uh, it's a nice buffalo nickel. Been digging everything out in the early, eight, late 1800s to about 1930s. So this would fit right in the date range. So let's get some pictures. Let's move up, keep on going. We've been working back over there. We started to come back in here where the, we've been finding most of the coins. Nugget just went through here and missed this for me and gave it to me. I appreciate that. Look at that, guys. One dime. One dime, that is going to be, no, 1905, 1905 Barber Dime. I'll take them all day long. That's my fourth Barber Dime today. That's crazy. Oh, and the number four, five, six, seven, seventh silver today, Buffalo Nickel. Uh, gosh, we have killed it out here today. Half dollar, Standing Liberties. I'll take that every day. Let's keep on going. Came back over here, working this uh, open area again. Uh, Nugget's been through this section twice. I've been through this section twice and we didn't get anything. I'll come back here at a different angle and check this out. 
That's an 18. Let me see if I can pop it, get it focused. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful dime. I am toning in these Courtney dimes and wore out a little bit, but 1898. 1898, that's not the oldest one. 1892 is the oldest one. 1896, got three 1800 Barber dimes. Pretty wore out, but hey, I'll take them any day. I'll take these. That's nice. It goes to show you, you can hunt with Equinox, hunt with the AT Pro, come through here twice, and we still missed it, and I come back through here the third time, and I got it. All right, let's take some pictures and keep on going. All right, that's a day for us, and what a day it has been. And uh, we got everything laid out on the back. I put nugget stuff out here with me. And you're not going to believe what we have found. This is unbelievable virgin ghost town site. I'm not going to tell anybody where it's at, because there's probably still more out here. And uh, I won't come back out here some other time. But let me spin you around. Let me show you what I got. What do you think about today, man? It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> It's bad when you get tired of digging silver, it is, isn't it? Yeah. All right, you can see we dug lots of trash. Some more trash up over here. We had a, a tremendous day. Here's all my finds. I got a, a stainless steel spoon. I thought it was a, uh, a silver spoon at first, but the way it looked with the dirt on it, but it was just stainless. Then we got a nice little buckle. Got a, 19, uh, uh, what is that about, uh, Model T Ford? I early forgot what year that is, early 1900s. And... Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Wheaties. I don't even know the oldest. I look. I know there's one that's 1927. I did get one Buffalo nickel. I'm not sure on the date on that either. I got uh, three buttons, a bu uh, underwear button, an overall button, then a nice uh, general service button. Looking at all the date of everything out here, that's probably a 19, I mean a World War I uh, a cuff button there most likely seeing great shape still two pieces of jewelry one gold gilded and uh, the other one is a sterling silver locket if I can keep focus here it's a four-leaf clover locket I haven't tried to open it up or anything yet but it says snooky I think that says snooky it says sterling on it so that was a nice find but here's the unbelievable sight that you don't get to see every day check this out Look at that. I got a trifecta and dimes plus more. I got these two, the Rosie and the Mercury, at the other location this morning. Got five barbers out here. Two 1898s, one 1892, 1902, 1905. And then I've only dug one of these in my life, and I dug two today. A 1926, 27 Standing Liberty Quarters. And then I topped it off with a 1914 Barber. Now, if that's not enough silvers right there, Nuggets laid out his, too. Look at this. He's got him a Rosie and two Barbers, 19, 1898 and 1914. He also got a Standing Liberty, 1925. He split the difference between me and got a 1909 Barber. But I think the find of the day, he got a 1907 Screaming, 1907 Barber half. Wow, look at all that silver for the day. And we haven't even finished doing the rest of it so he's got a bunch of other stuff out there you'll see that in his video but there's all the trash there's all the treasure like i always say the greatest treasure is not what's out here in a ghost town the greatest treasure is what's up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again i just want to say happy hunting and god bless
right, guys, it's time for trivia. First one to answer the trivia correctly in the comments below is going to win a penny sticker and something else I'll throw in there with it. So in my last video, I found two silver dimes. What were, what type of silver dime were they? First one answer is going to win, so good luck.